Bill Thompson, Coots Bay. Uh, I was wondering uh, if uh, there's ever been any movement on this Michael Linda Cole discrete partial determination. It's tough for you. I know this must be the fourth time. I brought it up. Have you guys ever decided anything on that? Um, I'll have a comment on uh, during commissioner's comment. Okay. Whole property. Um, they have reviewed the invoice from the planning department uh, for their application for a discrete parcel determination. And they paid a standard fee of $200 uh, for the discrete parcel determination, which is the, the standard fee. Um, however, the, the application brought forth some ambiguities and errors in the county, in the county zoning and land development ordinance. Uh, they, to the first time that the county uh, realized that they had a problem there. And resolving those internal issues required additional staff time, and as is the, the past practice and the policy of the, of the board and the county, that was billed, uh, was billed back to the general fund. Uh, it wouldn't have been appropriate to uh, uh, bill the, the, the people that raised that issue because it said it, it wasn't, it needed to be fixed and dealt with uh, uh, within the county. So that's, uh, that's where we're at with that. So. Uh, whose friends they were, that was involved, and you were in the process, part of the process then. Bill, there was no preferential treatment given to the Coles. I've answered you this a number of times, but obviously you don't like my answer, so you keep asking the same question. I went to county council and talked to them about it. County council was already aware of it and doing some investigative work. The only ask was that the folks be given an answer, yes or no. It didn't matter what the answer was. They were just basically do an answer. So that's all that that's all that happened. I mean, the board did not make any decision about the dispensation of the Coles question in any way, shape, or form. Well, Cam, uh, well, the way I read the emails that transferred between the parties, was that uh, what Patty was asking for, I'll use her name, was the planning director, was uh, proof of what the codes were saying. And then I guess the whatever reason where they wanted to give it or where they couldn't give it or what, I don't know why she didn't get the proof she needed to make her decision or whatever. But then I understand that you guys said uh, except the word <clears throat> aspirin, the Coles word aspirin. And to me, that's not sort the case. of- Not the case, once again, Phil, I have to interrupt you because there was a little minor discrepancy on the okay. way that was presented. The proof came from county council and county council did the research work. That's the way it works on this. I mean, the planning does the research if they need other assistance. County council does the research. This was based on case law, period. It didn't have anything to do with anything any of the three of us said. It was simply based on case law. And people who come to the planning department, they are owed a decision in a reasonable amount of time. If preferential treatment is being kicked around for a year, what is regular treatment being kicked around for two to three years? This was simply based on case law. That's all it was, period. The Coles did not get any preferential treatment other than is due to any single member of this county. Any resident is entitled to the same level of service at the planning commission. Period. And that's all it was. Nobody asked for any special treatment okay. in any way, shape, or form, Bill. I hope that clarifies it. And if you think there was a problem, push it at a higher level because I'm more than happy to go there because this was above board. This is what the people of Coos County are due. And that's a good level of service. They expect that. That's what they're due. This was a very simple black and white decision and the board did not have any influence in how that decision came out. We just asked that there be a decision made, and that's fair, and that's what's due to people of Coos County. Well, Cam, I thank you.